I just recently went to KFC again the other day. I hadn't been there for a few years, and after going back, it reminded me of one of the scariest moments I had as a kid. I'm an adult now, and this took place probably about 20 years ago. I was maybe like seven or eight, and my family would occasionally get KFC for dinner. It was one of my favorite things that we would get, and I always looked forward to it. Usually, my dad would go and pick it up from the restaurant and bring it home, and then we'd have it in our dining room. One night, I decided to go with my dad for some reason, I'm not really sure why, but it was a Saturday night, and it must have been either the fall or the spring, because I remember that it was sort of cold out, and it was already almost dark at about 6.30pm. We went inside, and my dad got in line to order. There was like one person ahead of us who was currently ordering, and as I waited, I began to kind of wander off around the restaurant. I remember that nobody else was sitting down and eating throughout the entire place. I got bored easy and was kind of in my own world just walking around looking at what I saw. I noticed that the person who had been ordering in front of my dad left and my dad was now up to order. I was just looking around the place and was near the back corner where there was another door. I was looking out the window when I heard the main door in front of the KFC open. I saw a man walk inside and he went up to my dad as if he was starting to talk to him. Then. The back door that was near me opened. I saw a grown woman walk in. She sort of looked around and then at me and smiled. She then extended her hand to me to shake it and said hi. I was sort of confused by this, but I shook her hand and then said hi back to her. But in shaking my hand, she didn't let go. She grabbed my wrist and started walking backwards to the door, only about five feet away. I was surprised by this and before I knew it, we were outside. I didn't say anything and was just really confused at first. I remember the woman said something like she just wanted to show me something really quick. She led me right around the corner of the building to a van. It looked older and beat up, and the door was already open. She then put her other arm around me and kind of lifted me into the van without telling me to go inside or anything. At the same time, I saw a man come jogging from the other side of the building. When he got closer, I recognized him to be the same man that had started talking to my dad. He helped the woman get me inside the van, and they slammed the door shut. The man then sprinted around to the driver's door. Around the same time though, I started to see another guy running around the corner of the building where we were. It was my dad. He was sprinting towards us, and I heard the woman who was in the back seat next to me still holding onto my wrist start to scream. She was yelling go to the man, but the man driving then turned and said no, let him out. My dad reached the van and stood in front of it. I could hear him yelling. The woman ended up opening my door and then shoving me outside. My dad came around and grabbed me as they sped away. I remember my dad pointing out that the van didn't have any license plates on it when they drove off. We then went back inside after that, and my dad called the police and then began yelling at the people working at KFC. Obviously it wasn't their fault, but he was just angry. The whole time, I didn't really know what to do. I just never expected anything like that to happen. After the police arrived at the KFC, I talked to a few officers and told them everything that happened including describing the man and woman and their vehicle. Eventually, I was able to go home. We didn't go to that particular KFC for a long time after that. Last year, I went to the KFC drive through one night. I was driving home after doing some shopping, and I don't remember the exact time, but it was maybe like 9 p.m. or so. I was craving a chicken sandwich from KFC, so when I saw one close to the stores I had been at, I stopped at it. I went in the drive-thru to order faster, but when I arrived at the menu and rolled my window down, I didn't hear anything at the other end. I waited for about a minute and looked around. The lights were still on, so it looked like they might still be open. However, nobody was saying anything. I asked if anybody was there, but still didn't get a response. I noticed headlights approaching behind me and saw a larger looking truck pulling into the drive through behind me. I decided to look online to see if they were actually open or not. I took out my phone and for a minute I was looking to find the KFC when I heard the truck behind me honk. I looked and couldn't see who was in the truck due to the bright headlights, but I figured the guy wanted me to hurry up. As I was on my phone, I heard a door open and shut behind me. The next thing I knew, I saw a man approaching my driver's window. I rolled it down and the guy was angry right away. He had longer hair and a beard and was yelling at me to hurry up and said I was wasting his time. I told the man that they were closed and nobody had answered the intercom. The man didn't seem to understand me though 
and kept going on about how I was wasting everybody's time and how mad he was. He began yelling at me in a threatening way, and it seemed as though he was likely drunk or high or on some sort of drugs. He really wasn't making a whole lot of sense, and I decided to just tell the man that I was sorry and that I was going to leave. I didn't know what he was capable of, and the man then cursed at me and started returning to his truck. I was happy he was gone, and I began to drive away. I figured he could find out for himself that the place was closed and nobody would answer him. But when I drove off, he began following me. He was honking and revving his engine as he drove extremely close to my car. I was concerned because if the man was on drugs, he certainly shouldn't be operating a vehicle. He also was driving a big truck that was much larger than my little car. I drove out onto the road and he followed. I was hoping he would pass me, and a short time after we got past the businesses to a more rural area, he did begin to pass me. But when the man's truck got about even with my car, I saw him roll down his window and start yelling at me again. He then veered his truck towards my car and was starting to run me off the road. I slammed on my brakes and stopped, and the truck kept going and ended up crashing into the ditch. I stopped there on the side of the road and saw the man exit the vehicle and began running towards mine. I sped away after that, and I called the police and reported the whole incident. Looking back, I'm glad the man went into the ditch because he could have caused a serious accident or got somebody hurt. I'm not sure what his problem was or why he was acting that way. I work at KFC. I've been working with the company for about a year now, and this has got to be the scariest thing that's ever happened while working there, let alone my entire lifetime. I was working the late shift on a Thursday night. It was about 9 p.m. I'd been helping my manager on drive through with packing orders as we were getting a little bit of a rush in the drive through There hadn't been anybody in the lobby for a while, and no one had come inside for the last hour. As I had finished making a famous bowl and passed it along to my manager to give to the drive through cashier, I heard the door to the restaurant open and it made the noise that it always did when someone was coming in. I walked over to the front counter to greet whoever was there, but I saw no one at first. I turned around and went for a couple of seconds when suddenly I heard a voice call out to me. There was a girl now standing there who hadn't been there a few seconds before and I had only turned my back for a very short time. I actually thought the girl was very pretty she was my type and everything. I asked how I could help her, and she ordered a two-piece with mac and cheese and a drink. She told me that she found me pretty cute, which I was actually kind of taken aback by it. She even told me that I looked good in the red uniform shirt. I laughed while blushing, but I couldn't directly say that I thought she was beautiful, as I had to remain professional. I went to go pack her order, and when I was done packing, I brought it to the front counter and called out to her to tell her her order was ready. I waited for a minute and got no response. I called out to her again, but still nothing. I thought maybe she went to go sit at a booth that was a little far back from the kitchen, but when I went there, however, she was nowhere to be seen. I was very confused, but I thought maybe she had just gone to the bathroom or something, so I went back to doing my work. Eventually, about an hour passed. It was time to lock the door to the lobby. I did, and then realized the girl who had walked in there. I looked back at the table, and the food was just sitting in the same place I had left it couldn't believe it. I went to knock on the girl's bathroom, as maybe something bad had happened to her, and I was quite worried. Eventually, after a few knocks and calling out a few times, I had gotten no response. I decided to open the door, and when I did, it clearly looked like nobody had been in there the entire time. I then attempted the men's restroom, which she could have gone in as well, but I got the same results. There was absolutely no one in there. I was in complete shock. How was this possible? The pack line wasn't too far from the front counter, and I could hear the entire time someone had come in there. From the time that the girl had come in there to now, I hadn't heard the door open or close once, and no customers had come in after that. I was very creeped out. I didn't know how she could have left, but I had about two hours of my shift left. I didn't tell my manager or anyone else what had happened in fear of getting accused of lying. I cleaned the entire lobby, cleaned the front counter area, and whatever other small tasks I had to do before leaving. I usually walk to and from the KFC, as I don't live very far, and it's about a 20 minute walk. I said goodbye to my coworkers for the night and began walking home. About 10 minutes into my walk, I had gotten this overwhelming feeling that I was being watched. I turned back and my jaw dropped. Standing about 500 feet down the road was the same girl that had been in the KFC. I backed up and turned my head for a second, 
But when I looked back, she was gone, like she vanished into thin air. I was so scared that I ran the rest of the way home. Once I got to my door, I unlocked it as quick as I could and rushed inside. This was by far the scariest thing that ever happened to me working at KFC and in my life in general. This was only about three weeks ago, so it's still very fresh in my mind. I told one of my managers what had happened, and when I described what the girl looks like, tears rolled down her face and she was in complete shock. She said it sounded like I was describing Kaylee, an employee that I had heard of before. She had passed away a few months before I started working there. I couldn't believe what I was hearing at the same time, and it made me pretty emotional.